Hello and welcome to my front room because the whole studio thing isn't really working out because that desk, I, it just, it's a lot. It's a long story. So for now, we're in my we're in my front room because it just seemed like the best place. And it's also the best place to tell you about this bag. This is a bag from Knack and this is the Series 2. I feel like I'm just forgetting everything I just wrote down to say. Uh, it's a Series 2 from Knack. It's an expandable backpack and we're going to talk about it. So let's get into it. Okay, so this is a 24 liter bag, but if you decide to use the expansion, then it goes all the way out to 35 liters. So this is a great bag for those of us that might wanna pack small and leave it at that 24 liter, smaller, slim-ish backpack size, or for those of us that like this bag and like the way it's laid out and maybe like the fact that it fits what they want, then you can expand it out to 35 liters to have a little extra room for your trip or bring some extra goodies back if you're already on a trip. Okay, so with all of that, let's get into the specs on this bag. Hey everyone, Editor Odie here, and I went on in that video to say that I couldn't find the materials on the website. And then when I was sitting here editing, I was like, maybe I should look again, and it's, painfully obvious where they are. So here's some B-roll of the bag as I shamefully read the materials out. These materials are made from a lightweight 420 denier, high density nylon fabric woven with high twist yarn for great durability. PU coating for water resistant, tough 840 denier ballistic nylon bottom panels for enhanced wear characteristics, and it's tested to carry loads up to 40 pounds. I wouldn't have memorized that anyways. Back to the video. But what I like about the zippers for the most part are the fact that they're lockable. Not to mention the fact that they're all really easy, bulky, beefy zippers to unzip and zip back up if you have this thing kind of crammed out and might need to like do one of those little like sit techniques and then, and then wrap the zipper around. You got that. Overall, good material and good hardware. A little weather resistant, but these are not weather guard seals. So you'd want to be a little careful if you got caught in any kind of storm. Let's talk about the comfortability and the wear on this bag. So you have a nice air channel here on the back. I'm a big fan. It fit comfortably. No uh, like load lifters or anything, just a nice sternum strap and then no hip straps. So because this is an expansion-esque bag, when you have it up to 35 liters, you're gonna be wanting careful about how heavy you make it because this does not even have the ability to attach hip straps. So you take that risk of at 24 liters when you're on your way to your trip and everything is good and you packed it out and it's comfortable, but then boom, you expand it out to bring some stuff back. It might be a little bit heavier and you have no way to compensate that. So it's definitely something you wanna keep in mind when using this, especially utilizing that expandability and how heavy you might be packing it out. Now for reference, I am 5'8", around 170 pounds. That's what the bag looks like on me. Now this is unexpanded at the 24 liter range. It is a very comfortable bag, like I said, and I feel like it fits all body types. For instance, my partner is five foot and my partner's sister is four foot 11. I recently dropped them off at the airport together and my sister-in-law used this bag and then my partner used another one of my favorite bags. Actually, they used the Nutsack. Little joke, pretty fun. <laughs> yeah, boy. I like that bag, pretty good. Link up here if you wanna check that one out. And they both looked like they fit, like these bags didn't look huge or humongous on them. And they're, they're, they're tinier framed people, if you will. So if you're worried about this being big, too big or too bulky or anything like that, I think it insinuates all frames quite nicely. And you have a very nice sternum strap, easy to adjust, easy to unclip these straps as well because you can actually unclip them and then tuck them away if you wanted to go briefcase mode. So a couple different modes of transport on this as well. Okay, so the thing that everybody ultimately cares about and wants to see is the pockets, what they hold, how it's organized, and like that. So I have this packed out currently for about a three-day trip that I recently went on. It's a lot less than I would normally take on most of my trips, but it was a quick weekend trip, so there was no need to overpack. Now I'm gonna walk you through every nook, cranny, pocket, and how I organized, and what they can be used for. Okay, so right off the rip, you have this big front pocket. Now this is going to be your main source of organization. This is where you have the built-in organization of the bag. This would be like their tech sleeve or tech compartment. Now in here, this is where I put my Versa hat from Western Rise. If you like this hat, if you want a nice hat for travel where the, hat, the bill doesn't bend and it doesn't keep sweat and it's super comfortable, pick one of these up from Western Rise. Discount code Odie. Get 15% off. Be a happy camper. Be a happy hatter. You know? And with that ad placement, 
out of the way, we continue. We have a lot of interesting organization bits on this and you can customize this quite a bit. Now, I'm not one to typically use the organization that's built into the bag. I like to utilize pouches and things of that nature. So how I packed this out was simply up here at the top, which is actually a soft line pocket because this is where you put your sunglasses or glasses if you wanted to. I didn't, I didn't do that. So I put in here instead, I utilized it as my quick access because it was the closest thing up top that was the easiest to get into without a zipper. So this is where my headphones and my lip balm went. And then depending on how my travel went, you know, other random assorted items, cash, cards, maybe my wallet would end up every, in there every now and then. You never know when you're traveling and things get a little scattered. Below that, you have just a bunch of flat lay pockets. You have another one right in front of that that's about the depth of my hand. And then you have another two right here with like two other small ones. There's a ton, just a ton of small pockets, ton of pin organization, as you can see right here where I brought two of my pins with me because I always like to have a pin. And then you have a spot here for a key clip. Now I typically never use these. You can actually, it looks like you could potentially remove this because it's just held on with a little bit of like fabric and a G hook. Overall, good key clip, but I just tuck it into that little pin spot right in front of that. Now in front of that as well, you have another two small pockets and then three little pin guys right there. Now this is where I was putting my iPad. This is just a regular iPad, you know, the regular like 10 inch normal, no fancy schmancy iPad for this person over here. And then directly below that, because it's, that's kind of like sitting in its own little pocket and directly in front of that sitting just in this whole compartment is my recipe book. I've recently been writing down and jotting down recipes that I've been working on because I love to cook. I've always said to a lot of people that if I never made a channel about bag reviews, which I love to travel, big passion of mine, my second big passion is food and cooking. And I always said that I would have a cooking channel if I didn't have a, a bag channel. So I've been working on my own little recipe books. So and when I cook, I jot down like just stuff like that, which is why I brought the pins with me. And that just kind of sits right there. So overall, up against the bag, lots of great organization, but you also have this guy right here, which is a mesh, another zippered pocket. And now this was my security dump. Now I love a good security dump. It's just a pocket where when you're going through security, whatever you have on you, whether it's your boarding passes, bracelets, Apple watch, phone, whatever it is in your pockets, you can quickly dump that into your bag, put it on the tray for security, and then grab all that crap on the other side. So you don't have to worry about putting it in a tray. It just makes life a little bit easier. And I personally like that a lot more. So that's why I use this for when I went through security, I just dumped everything I had, whether it was my headphones, my Apple watch phone, whatever it was right in that pocket there. So in terms of the front compartment, lots of good organization built in lots of organization that you can also utilize. Now, before we move on on the side here is a nice little zipper comes down and this is your water bottle pocket. Now this is just a reusable water bottle that I got on my recent trip and I've just been kind of reusing it because it says that you can and I care about the environment enough to keep a water bottle. I was so thirsty, but I didn't, my, my water bottle was in the bag. So I, <laughs> continuity had to keep it in there, but man. So nice water bottle pocket. This is just like a normal sized water bottle. Love talking about the water bottle pocket because saying the words, water bottle, so much fun. Give it a try. Three, two, one. Fantastic, isn't it? Great pocket for water bottles. You're not gonna get big boys in there. There's no expansion to it, but I like these kind of water bottle pockets because you'll see on the inside, it doesn't really take up that much. And overall is a really good pocket because I know that's gonna be secure. I can leave this completely unzipped and it's easy to get in and out because I'm not pushing up against that bag like most compartments on bags that try this end up running into. So a good water bottle pocket. Okay, and then the next compartment is another like organization-esque compartment. And this is where I've utilized my pouches and then some of the organization actually built into the bag as well. So this is my like mobile tech kit in a wandered pouch. And then below that was actually my toiletry kit from Gravel, the Gravel Toiletry Kit Simp, because I love this thing. And there's not a lot of room where the clothes go because you can already see kind of just how much room you really have left after these two compartments. So I didn't really have room to put that in there. So I put it in here because why not? And then in this little mesh guy up here is where I've been putting my laptop charger because I always like to have easy access to it. When I travel, I typically don't like to put this in a pouch because I wanna be able to get it as fast as possible. Second thing I'm gonna to wanna to be able to get as fast as possible is a phone charger. So this is my lightning charger for all my Apple products. And then below that, there's actually a zipper for a like very thin compartment. I did not utilize that at all, but there's a compartment behind that 
and that is where I put my cord pouch. This is all my other chargers and cables and dongles and dingles and things that I might need to charge anything that I might have. Then on the other side, you actually have just an open, another one of those see-through zip guys. Now this is where I was putting my Game Boy Advance SP from my childhood where I'm going through and getting all of my gym badges in Pokemon Sapphire and then the charger to it because the battery is messed up and if I don't have a charger close by, I could literally die at any minute. I'll go from like full charge to blinking red in like 10 minutes and sometimes not for like three days. I don't know, don't ask me, three days might be a little bit of an exaggeration, but still, literally my childhood on planes is this is what I've been doing. Instead of watching movies and stuff, I've just been putting in like a book on tape and stuff and just playing Pokemon. Just feels, it feels nice, you know? And there's a little bit of niceness needed in 2023. So lots of organization bits. Now this is honestly one of my favorite things about this bag is this whole compartment right here. I feel like it just does a really good job of being able to put what you need exactly where you want it, especially if you like to use pouches. And honestly, there's a lot of room in there. So you could really get crazy with it. And if you, if you wanted to, you could even utilize that for extra clothes, honestly. Which leads us to the clothing compartment as it is. So this is like a half clam, which is kind of nice. And it opens like this. Now on this side, you have another zippered guy with the same see-through material. And now this is where I was putting like my undies and my socks and like my sleep shorts and stuff, but I don't have those in there because why would you want to see my undies? You pervert? Don't pervert on my undies. They're my undies. Get your own undies. I use me undies, by the way. By the way, if you don't know about me undies, fantastic. Me and my partner do the monthly thing. Love me undies. So that's what went on this side. And I was still able to close it just fine. But on this side, you have a nice little like encapsulator type thing, which you can just simply undo, unfold, and then I just had some simple clothing. I brought a hoodie with me because it's still mm, kind of chilly. I mean, here it went from like 75 one day to 20 and snowing, so you never know what to expect. So I brought a hoodie with me, always like to. I brought a pair of shorts because it was supposed to be nice, and it was, it was really nice. So I, got, I brought a pair of Western Rise shorts, and then just a couple t-shirts, and then a pair of Western Rise pants. And that is your compartment for clothing and everything like that. Now, when you expand it out, you get more on this side. So this is where the expansion comes in. It's all for this pocket. That's where the entire room really comes in. That extra like almost 11 liters is all right here for you. So honestly, really solid for quick weekend trips. I think you can easily put what you need. And then honestly, again, at 35 liters, I feel like that's where I would easily fit. I guess I'm saying the word easily. I just subconsciously was like, hey, you're saying easily a lot. This video is getting really off the rails. Ah, that lovely. <laughs> and then I said it like three more times. But what I'm getting at is when it's expanded, I can put my Peak Design Packing Cube in here with my toiletry kit and a couple other things if I needed to. So at 35 liters, this is still a great travel bag. Again, just want to be careful about the weight. Okay, and then the last compartment is on the side here, and that is a laptop sleeve. Fits up to a 16 inch MacBook Pro. Now, there is no tablet sleeve, which is why I utilized that front compartment for my tablet. Um, so your mileage may vary depending on what size tablet you have or what your kind of like tablet computer run setup might be for travel and stuff. But overall, that is every nook and cranny and how I pack this bag out. Again, I think it did a really good job holding up for a three day travel trip. And I still really believe that when it's expanded out, it can compete as a good lengthier travel bag that you might want if you're looking for something that's carry-on approved and easy to pack out with plenty of organization and plenty of space. So with all of that, this will be linked down below in the description. It's not an affiliate link. I just, that's where I put everything I talk about. It's always linked down below so you can easily find it if you wanna talk about it. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns about the Series 2 from NAC, let me know. I'll be happy to answer those for you in the comments down below. Thank you guys again so very much for all the love and support. You continue to give this channel, means the world to me. Uh, and with all of that being said, I will see you next time.